Welcome to another episode of Food Buffet Report. I'm Aaron. And I'm Bill, the co-host. Today, we have a picture of some deep fried, two plates of deep fried food. When I found this picture, I actually found an alternate view of the same picture. Now, Bill has one view behind him, but I'll, I'll toggle between the two different views. I think the difference between the two views is, is, is quite interesting. Quite, of course. It looks like in the first picture that we're looking at now, there's four straws, two forks, a bunch of napkins, and the two plates. But in the second picture, the plate on the left was turned around, obscuring the forks. The four straws are still there, and the camera's changed angle slightly. This is clearly an, an influencer of some sort. The way they've staged this. Why, why four straws? I mean, it's not a... It's a it's a buffet for food, not f-ing straws. <laughs> like this person's like help themselves to four straws. Do you think they're going to drink out of all four at the same time? Probably. I see one drink, which is water. They have four different types of drinks. They're going to. Maybe they got extra straws because these new paper straws they get soggy really quickly. And maybe this person doesn't like that, so they wanted to have an extra change of straw so so that when their straw got soggy, they could change it out. Like a diaper. Yeah. A soggy diaper. I don't wear those, but my kids had them, so. Yeah. What about the, I like that they went with two forks. That shows kind of a, it's an elegant touch. I think, if you if you look closely, I think that there's three forks and i think that the fork that you see on the left is actually two on top of each other that's what it looks like to me you might be right they've really loaded up probably there's other people waiting for forks and this person is just has taken most of them in order to get a head start on eating what about that bowl of sauce with a bubble in it you can see that the liquid is on a slight angle because it's resting on the side of the plate dipping into the main area speaking of while we're talking about this, there's the rim of that plate, which is elevated, but then there's the indentation. What is the indentation called? And then what is the main surface of the plate called? Is that called the eating area? The rim of the plate? The rim of the plate is the raised Mm -hmm. edge. And then as it sinks down to where the food sits, what's that part uh, of the plate called? The well? Well, okay. Mm -hmm. Is that an official industry term? I think so. I mean, is this an official industry show? Because if it's not, I'm not giving industry terms. Okay. It's becoming. We're rising high in the industry. You think something's breathing underneath that sauce? There's a bubble, like an air bubble. (laughs) Like like a salamander's in there. It's like, "Ah." this person got a lot of fried stuff. Everything's fried except there's that one dark colored piece. You see it? Do you think that's a mussel? Or a beetle? Like a big black beetle? Mm-hmm. People eat Could beetles. Be. Mm-hmm. They they do eat them. Anyways, I think this is a good show. And I think that probably most of the subscribers are still watching. So we should end it now while we're ahead. Good idea. We won't even talk about Twitter in this episode. No. We don't talk about Twitter or any of the other platforms. Don't say anything about those. Okay, the show's over. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thank you. I shouldn't even thank people. People have stopped watching, right? (laughs) They get to the end. That's it. Is that the mad? That's, you know, by by the time the end comes, they're very excited. There's a reward, and all they get is a stupid thank you. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, well, they get to hear the the music. Yeah, but really at the end, they they wait for a treat. They think if they wait to the end, that there might be a treat. And the treat is thank you.